So we're going to be going over the Rough Face Girl and Mafaro's Beautiful Daughters Venn Diagrams. Taking a look first um, at some comparisons. The outer circles are the things that would be different. So something that occurs in this story, which would be Rough Face Girl versus Mafaro's Beautiful Daughters. So Rough Face Girl is in a village on Lake Ontario. Mafaro's beautiful daughters it happens in Africa, right? So those are two different settings. So we put one in the outer circle here and one in the outer circle here for those two stories. Um, in Mafaro's beautiful daughters, uh, he has two daughters, right? The Cinderella character has one sister. Whereas in Rough Face Girl, there are three daughters and the Cinderella character has two sisters, right? And we'll talk about this middle section in a moment, right? We're not going to look at that right now. Uh, in Rough Face Girl, there's a rich, invisible being, right? And in and, and this one. Whereas in this one, there's a king, right? And the king called for a wife for himself, right? So he, he made a, an, an announcement about how he is looking for a wife. Whereas for the rich invisible being, they just said that the only woman that could be his wife is someone that, um, that could see him. Okay. So the test was to see if she really actually saw the invisible being. So that was the Cinderella character's test and how the sisters were tested, right? Is to see if they actually saw him by asking about her, his bow and his bowstring. And here... The Cinderella character um, made friends with a garden snake, right? And there was no garden snake in this story at all. Um, this had to do with Algonquin Indians, right? Whereas this was just villages in Africa, which we already discussed. Uh, and here, the Cinderella character's kindness was tested with a poor boy asking for food. Okay, so they were testing her kindness. Um, and, and here you know, the, the sister of the invisible being said that she could already tell she was kind. Um, uh, the, the, uh, Cinderella character had scars and burnt hair, right? Because of the tending to the fire for her sisters and the magic lake washed the scars away. So there was a magic lake. And then in here, there was a garden, the garden snake was, was the king. So it turned from a garden snake to the king. So that's some magic in this story as well. And then at the end here, she took a seat in the wife's place in the tent, right? So that's showing that, that they accepted her as, uh, as the new wife, right? And here they called together a big wedding, um, to be held. So in the middle here, Right, this is where we have the comparison for what's the same in those two stories, right? So obviously the father remained alive, right, in the whole story. Uh, and it was a kind father. The father was very kind to the daughters. Um, one, you could also say is a difference. One was a poor father. And this one, it really didn't say that. You know, he just said he had two beautiful daughters um, and he was he felt like a, a lucky man. Um the sisters were mean in these two stories as well. Uh, the Cinderella character was very kind, right? And it showed that in both stories. Uh, the girl went and seeked the husband, right? So rather than, you know, um, the man coming to her and finding her, uh, she went out and sought him and he knew who she was from the beginning. And then the Cinderella character was beautiful. Now in this one, she ended up, you know, she had those scars and was, you know, ugly. But she ended up changing at the end and she was beautiful, right? Um, so the way that might be easiest for you to do these comparisons, right, is to hear one story, sit down and really listen to it. And then while you're listening to the second story, fill this out as you're listening and maybe pause the video to write something in, right? These comparisons are really in depth. I don't want to see um, uh, if it's this says in a village on Lake Ontario. I don't want to see was not on a lake, right? That's not a good comparison. That's not showing me 
what's actually in this story. All right, so that is our two comparisons for the rough faced girl and the Faro's beautiful daughters. If you had something similar to any of these things, then obviously you're correct, right? So make sure you're thinking about those comparisons and how those two stories um, lay side by side as Cinderella stories.